In the world of programmable logic controllers or PLCs, variables are a critical component of any program. They allow for storage and manipulation of data and are essential for creating complex programs that can perform a variety of tasks. In this video, we will take a closer look at variables in the LS Electric XGB PLC memory and discuss their scope or the area of the program in which they can be accessed. What are variables? Before diving into the specifics of the LS Electric XGB PLC variables, let's briefly discuss what the variables are. Variables are essentially placeholders for data that is used within your program. They can store various data types including integers, floating point, numbers, strings, etc. Variables can be manipulated using various programming constructs, such as mathematical operations, string, or comparisons. Typically, variables are declared before you start to program the PLC, but they can be declared anytime. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. XGB Memory the LS Electric XGB PLC memory is backed up by non-volatile RAM. Variables like the real time clock or RTC can maintain its settings for 6 months without a battery. PLC memory mapping. The PLC memory can be defined in three major sections. Memory area for user programming. The programmer controls this area for any use in the application programming. Memory area for PLC I.O. This area is designated for the physical I.O. of the PLC. Memory area for the PLC flag registers. This area is updated by the PLC to show the current system status. You can reference these registers in the programming. The total XGB memory can be summarized in the following table. This can be shown in the following block diagram of the XGB. The PLC has 384 kilobytes for your program and parameter area. XGB memory retentive areas. The following table shows the XGB PLC's memory retentive areas. Memory retention is used when you want to start and stop the PLC without losing a bit or word status. Initialization of data according to restart mode. There are three variables related to restart mode, default, initialization, and retain variable. The initialization method for each variable in case of executing restart mode is as follows. Operation of data retain area. The method of de deleting the retain area is as follows. Reset through the XG5000, which is the overall reset. Execute clear memory through XG5000 at stop mode. Writing by program, initialization program recommended. Writing zero, fill, etc. at XG5000 monitor mode. Refer to the following table for holding retain data area or reset clear operation according to the PLC operation. Initialization of data. If the PLC becomes clear memory status, the memory of all devices is deleted as zero. When you want to specify the initial value, use the initialization task at the CPU module. There are two types of built-in memory. One is program memory to save programs made by the user for the user to construct the system. Another is the data memory device area saving data during operation. Indirect addressing or pointers in the XGB. Indirect addressing or pointers can be done in the XGB PLC using arrays. We will be discussing this in future posts. Variable scope in the LS Electric XGB PLC. In the XGB PLC, variables are used extensively throughout the program. They can be declared using various data types including integers, floating point numbers, and strings. One important concept to understand when working with the LS Electric XGB PLC variables is scope. Scope refers to the area of the program in which the variable can be accessed. 
Variables can be either local or global in scope. System variables. The scope of variables is easier to see in the project navigation window. System variables can be seen by any item in this window. Global direct variable. Global variables can be used by anything under the device. In this case, the LS PLC. The variables cannot be seen outside of this area. Local variables. Local variables can only be accessed with a specific scope. In this case, the, the program for the easy transfer line can only access these variables. Variables are a critical component of any PLC program and the LS Electric XGB PLC is no exception. Understanding the basics of variable declaration and scope allows you to create more complex and powerful programs to control various industrial systems. Whether you are a seasoned PLC programmer or just getting started, understanding variables is essential for success. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or your one or for ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.